yeah, definitely. It's um, something that we we installed last year and it worked very well. Continued this year and just the way the gaffer works and Davey wants feedback. He's still learning and uh, we're still learning as a group and we've got a lot of experience in and around the team. So it's it's how we improve as a group and, and move forward. How beneficial was that dialogue last season, the success you had? Yeah, it was brilliant. Obviously, it was a, it was a new group, um, a new management, a lot of new players and brought a lot of experience from myself down south, Tav, Rob, and obviously experience from up here with Kenny and Skip and all the other boys that have come into the group. So it was important that we, we got our opinions across and um, we used it as much as we could to, to benefit us as a team. How did those discussions and kind of the analysis kind of break down between the players? How do you go about kind of looking back at performances and, and where things are going right, where things are going wrong? It's just um, you play, you train, you play, you, you review it, you break down what you've done well in the, the game, what you, you didn't do so well and it's all about learning from your mistakes and the majority of the time it wasn't that many mistakes in the game to, to criticise, it's all about how you can just improve sharper play, defending set pieces, just general bits and bobs of a game that you can you can always find 1% that's going to benefit you for the next game. From the outside looking in, people might look at the events over the last week or so and worry that the atmosphere isn't, there isn't good, there isn't that kind of good working environment. What would you say to that? How would you sum up the kind of group that are, that are working at the group of players? It's, um, it's not changed to be honest. We, we, had a, we had three or four new additions over the summer and like you see the core that we had last year was very good. Obviously we brought in a lot of experience and They've they've moulded to that and we've just kept on going. Um, a lot of a lot of stuff's been said, but we're still a young, hungry squad that wants to achieve a lot. And there's a lot of disappointment after last week's result, but it's how you learn from it. And I think that was just the fall from it. We're just we're a bit disappointed and wanted to get it off our chest. But we we're a learning group. We're still it's still our first year in the championship. It's still one month into the season and we're still learning. Team spirit was really such a huge part of your success last season is it still as strong as that unit is still there this year? Yeah definitely like you say um, the players brought, were brought in have got huge amounts of experience and they had to had to adapt to our our environment and they definitely did obviously different characters different opinions and just the way football is we're all men we all have to take it on the chin and it's how you, you learn from it more than reacting to criticism so it's one of them things it's part and parcel of football and it's, it's just the way it goes no, the manager wasn't pleased with the sort of level of, of negativity aimed at the team. What impact has it had on, on you and the players? Um, to be honest, I don't really read the press, to be honest, so it doesn't really affect me as much. But it's important that we, as footballers, just get another our job and that's going out on the pitch and, and delivering three points. From the outside looking in, it um, we do get a lot of criticism in terms of not picking up results, but that's what you get for playing for Rangers and you've got to deal with that. So. We had, we had spells of it last year where we weren't doing so well and we just got on with the job and it's part, like you say, it's part and parcel and you just got to do your job and try and get three points. Is confidence been shaken by results at the start of the season? I don't think so. Um, I think we're a young squad, like I've, I've touched on before, that we're still learning the, in the Premiership of Scottish football. Um, it's the first time the club's been back here for four years and it's, it's a completely different structure to what it was like the last time. So. For me, it's a new experience for many of the boys it is as well. So we've lost one game out of, what is it, five and we're fourth on the table. But we've got some big games coming up and it's more important that you look to the future than dwell on the past for me. How is your, your own fitness? you feel your back? feel strength there? Yeah, getting there. It was important that I got a good 65, 70 minutes at the weekend and got the game tomorrow night, hopefully to, to get some moments in the bank. But yeah, it was disappointing that I picked up the injury in the first game, but I've worked hard with the, the, the medical staff and... Getting, getting back on my feet. Okay. So, so well, just well, on the Premiership, do you, have you found the level better, different to what you expected? Has um, the acclimatisation been a bit more different, a bit more, um, need more time to acclimatise perhaps than you thought? Um, not really, I just think it's it's a bit higher level than last year. Yeah, no disrespect to the, the teams in the Championship, they're a bit more organised and I think the fitness for the 90 minutes is, is a bit of a, a more of a challenge and we was experienced last year we could maybe grind teams down in the last 15 20 minutes we got chances but this year bit level is a uh, has gone up a bit but it's something that we've got to deal with and, and try and find a way to break down